In every airport, bus station and train station, if it's busy enough but not too crowded, there's a VIP lounge. There's no fence around it. No special pass is required to get in. It's just a separate corner where nobody ever sits. Because the Chinese have collectivist mentality. They're not individualists. Where everyone goes, I go. It's not only true with Chinese people, but here it's especially prominent. For example, there's around 50 people here right now, and they're all in the same area. Everyone is sitting together, and no one is coming over here. It's important to always keep in mind that if you step aside from any mass gathering in China, you will definitely find an empty spot with no one in sight. There will be no crowds, no noise and no rush. In small towns or villages, if there's a no smoking sign, everyone smokes anyway. They smoke in train stations and on buses. They smoke wherever they can. But what I do like is that you can always ask those people not to smoke and most likely they will be understanding. And I often ask them not to smoke. I enjoy doing that, because I don't support smoking in public places. Besides, they started fighting smoking at state level. In Beijing, even smoking on the street is prohibited. I think soon their fight against smoking will reach the same level as in Russia, which I support. We've arrived in Lushi. It's a small village in the Fengqing County. It took us around three hours by a serpentine road. A well-known segment of the Charmar Gadao passes through here. That's why Lushi is called Lushi Charmar Gadao Dijeng, which means the first village on the Charmar Gadao. In reality, there are lots of firsts like this in China. And there are lots of segments of the Charmar Gadao too. But the interesting thing about Lushi is that there's an ancient city preserved here. There are many buildings that are a few hundred years old. And there's a memorial plaque that was recently installed here, which says Historic Cultural Monuments Preservation Committee, Charmar Gadao Lushi Duan, meaning segment of the ancient tea horse road. This road was used to transport tea from Yunnan to Tibet and other places in the north. The road has a lot of segments, and not only in Yunnan, but neighboring provinces too, in Yunnan and in Sichuan. But hardly anywhere the road has been preserved. Here, it's very apparent that it's a newly made reconstruction. They restored the stone pavement. We showed you the authentic ancient road before. For example, in our film about the Jingmai mountain, 
you can see the original ancient stones. Or this film we made about Anhua in Henan province. There, the more ancient parts of the Tea Horse Road have survived. But interestingly, here there are a lot of ancient buildings, and the government prohibits the demolition of them. People who want to live in a more modern house must follow the style of the old building, build the new house next to it, and leave the old house as it is. We've seen a situation like this before, for example in Jarmei, a small village next to Weishan, the very village from where tea was originally coming to Russia. The plaque at the entrance to the village says, the legacy of previous generations will bring joy to future generations. The first house you see when you enter the village gives a hint how Bao Hu, or preservation of antiquity, is really very relevant here. It's not a newly made building, it's obviously old, the roof is barely holding together, and they still try to keep the buildings alive as long as they can. The wooden parts are covered with holes eaten by insects. The wooden doorstep is almost entirely gone. This gate is really ancient. Many people burn incense at the entrance, although it's not a temple. But it's a tradition to light incense to commemorate the moment when you arrive somewhere. Mm. This is my village, my home, as Shukshin said. These words come to mind whenever I'm in a village, especially a beautiful one, especially when it's this ancient. And whenever I talk to locals, we always bring up this topic. They always say, it's wonderful here, very clean air. We're not rich, but we're very happy. And I tell them, don't worry that you aren't rich. You're lucky that you live here in this place. And indeed, there's always such a wonderful and calm atmosphere in villages. This is such a place that gives you a true sense of home. And this is the place where cultures meet. There's an old mud brick house and a modern building right next to it. But it's still built according to the old style. And you can see more buildings like this in this street, where a part of it was recently built. But it was built like the old ones. Roof tiling was made in the authentic manner. Cracked grey brick. The whole style reminds me of the ancient buildings. Bricks like this are used in most of the historic and cultural areas of Yunnan.
even though the village is a part of a national cultural heritage, is still populated. It's a living cultural heritage. And this is one of the signs that the village is populated. This is a list of all the residents. Here it says, the sixth meeting of the election commission. And here's a list of everyone who participated in the meeting and everyone who has a right to vote. So it's a list of all the voters, an example of local democracy. It's interesting that this list contains all the information about a person. Name, consisting of three characters, sex, date of birth, and so on. So we can easily figure out what portion of the population are elderly, and how many young residents there are. And it turns out there's more young residents, a lot of people born in the 80s and 90s, who can already participate in the elections. They chose to stay here, even though the village is old. Nobody leaves here. These grannies seem like they're not completely present, like they're in space. We won't learn much from them. Some segments of the ancient pavement have survived. Stones are very worn out. So in some areas here, the road is still authentic. And in others, it's a reconstruction. But it still looks very close to the original. We saw the reconstruction above at the entrance. And walking down, we step onto the real ancient tea road. Enjoy your tea. <laughs> 